This is a quick video. I've talked about um, uh, sorting out a leak on the R10 um, when it's from the when you get air leaking out of the uh, magazine slot or the end of the barrel. Um, but it's often not easy to um, tell if there's a leak from there because it could be a very very slow leak. This rifle is an example of that. I couldn't hear any air leaking, but it was losing air overnight. So what I've done is I've taken a rubber glove and I've um, taped, well not, well not taped, I used a rubber band on here, um, onto the end of the barrel and I also put one on the end of the air cylinder um, and this was to check if it was leaking from the actual fill valve or around the fill valve. Um, as you can see this glove has inflated um, so that tells me that the leak is coming from the um, firing valve. Um, there is a video that shows you how to clean the firing valve and that's that's the firing valve or knockoff valve as it's, as it's called by the um, part suppliers. Um, so there we go, that, that gives you one idea of how to find the leak. Other options are to use a um, something like a leak detector spray on the joints. Um, but just bear in mind that a lot of the parts on these rifles are steel so if you use soapy water there's a good chance that things will rust because of the water. Water and steel don't like each other. Um, some of the leak detector sprays are meant to be, um, you know, they, they're meant to be free of water and um, they won't corrode steel, but obviously check, check the label, read the instructions to make sure before you spray it all over your expensive rifle. Cheers.